Hey everyone, uh, so this is Mr. Ellis here, uh, just kind of going through how to get to Canvas in case you are brand new to this. So I'll be sending this out in an email for those who um, are, are are unfamiliar with Canvas. Anyways, um, so here's how it should work. First thing, Google the Muscogee County School District, right? Or type this address in up here, muscogee.k12.ga.us. Uh, type that into your address bar at the top, and it will take you to the following page here, the Muscogee County homepage. From here, you can choose to either select families or up here in the top, families and students, whatever works for you. They're both the same button. Once you choose that, simple enough, it takes you to our page with all of our family apps um, and programs. And you'll notice here, um, they're all listed out nice and easy in alphabetical order. And Canvas is right here with the cool little circle. That's what I usually look for. Now, once we click on that button, it will take us to Canvas itself. Let me leave student view here so you can see all the good stuff there is to see. And once you do, you will be taken here. All right. This is what we call your dashboard, all right? If you are navigating here on Canvas, you're going to want to use this left side to get around, at least at first until you choose a course, okay? Now, you'll start out in your dashboard. This shows you what courses you are enrolled in, either as a teacher or a student. Uh, so most of these I'm a teacher, one or two of them I'm a student, okay? And if you want to go to that course, you simply click on this card here, okay? Click on these names, and it will take you to that actual course, all right? However, let's say that there's an issue here. Let's say that um, you pull this, pull this up, and for some reason, one of your courses is missing, or there are more courses on here than you need. If you don't like that, well, look over here on the left, and it's got a little button that says Courses. All right? Click on this, and it'll show you all of the published courses you are a part of. Okay? So these are all the ones that you can view and take a part in. Um, however... If you, for example, uh, wanted to see all the courses you've ever been in, you can click on this button, All Courses. There might even be some courses that you are um, enrolled in that you don't know about, and you'll see them down here. The ones with stars are the ones that are on your dashboard. The ones without stars are not on your dashboard. So you can see I'm a part of other classes here, like 8th grade math and academic bowl, etc. Um, this one right here is my advisement course, that's my homeroom, that's the Spider-Man one, and you'll see that it's got a star, which means it's present on my dashboard. If I click that star off and come back to my dashboard, you'll see now that I'm missing Miles Morales. He's no longer there, okay? Uh, and that course is no longer viewable. It doesn't mean I can't access it, it just means I can't see it on my dashboard. That can help you clean your dashboard up a little bit. All right. If you want to bring that course back, we'll simply go to courses over here on the left, the little book shaped icon. Down here at the bottom is all courses. You click on that. And then you would click on the star. Find the course that you want and click the star. If you're unsure, like if you're in the right course at the right time, the term usually helps. So 2021, that's our current school year. Okay. And that's the course I want to be in. And so I come back here, up here to my dashboard, and you'll notice, three, two, one, and there is Miles Morales again. So you can see Spider-Man over here, okay? That's basically um, how you get to Canvas and get to see your courses, okay? There's more stuff over here you don't need to know too much about. I will go over the calendar and the inbox for you at later date, but for right now, that's how you get to Canvas. Next up, we'll talk about what you do in your course, okay?